Okay, we're speaking about the all-important topic, Tzipis al Yeshua. Today I want to share with you a thought, which is a gift from Shemayim, that actually uh, occurred to me during Mincha, um, in my neighborhood now, because they changed the clock, so the Mincha is by a uh, Sephardic shul. It's interesting that, I didn't realize this, but in, in, during Mincha, they say Avinu Malkeinu, they say special Kapitlach of Tehillim as part of Mincha, before Tachnon even. They say special Tefillos composed by Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef. Anyway, that's uh, the delay. But Hashem sent me a gift I'm very excited to share with you. The Ramban at the end of Parshas Bay, probably the most well-known Ramban in all of Chumash, is dealing with the question, why are there so many mitzvahs that are Zeichel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. There's so many things we do that are Zeichel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Tzitzis, Tfilin, Lamantia Torah Hashem Beficha, Kibiyad Chazaka, Yitzhiyah Hashem, Smenei Yitzhah Mitzrayim. We remember Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim every morning in the third parsha of Shema, and then again in Ms. Fiyatsev, and then in Ms. Vemuna, and then at night as well. Shabbos is Zeichel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Kiddush is Zeichel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Sukkah is Eichel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Mezuzah is Eichel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Matzah is Eichel. So basically think about it. You can't walk out one doorway without being reminded that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. You can't wake up in the morning without tying the idea literally with leather straps around your arm, curtailing your blood flow, right? You literally slow down the blood flow in your arm, right? Now, normally, during the, during the rest of the day, you have very good circulation in the left arm. No, not the hour you're davening shachras, because you have to remember Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. And if that's not enough, you put a box on your head. And in the box it says, Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. And every seventh day, you just stop whatever you're doing, and you rest to remember Hashem took you out of Mitzrayim. And if that's not enough, seven days a year you can't even eat bread. Because you just got to be totally focused that Hashem took you out of Mitzrayim. So the Ramban explains, you know, why is it so important? Every single doorpost, they have to write the story on the doorpost and put in a scroll. So Ramban says, look, God made outright miracles to demonstrate many important great principles. That there's a Creator. And he created the world, Yesh Me'ayin. And that he controls everything that happens in the world. And that his power is limitless. And God's not going to make these miracles for every challenger. He did it once, and now he says, don't ever forget it. So we have to make sure never to forget it. So we have to tie it onto our clothing, and tie it around our arms. And we have to stop what we're doing every seventh day. And we have to put a reminder on every single doorpost. How can we ever forget how can we ever forget that obviously there's a Creator? How do we know? Hashem demonstrated it when He took us out of Mitzrayim. In other words, we, th we thought, or the Egyptians thought, the world, Olam Kimen Hagai Noyeg, sunrise, sunset, no, says Riban Sham. I'll stop the sun, there'll be darkness. Let me demonstrate, I created the world, I control everything that happens in the world. Hashgacha Pratis, Metzios Hashem, Hashgacha, Nevuah, God speaks to man. All of these great principles, the principles that the Torah stands on, we need to remember, not just daily, again and again and again and again throughout the day, our whole life, because we easily forget it. That's why almost all the mitzvahs we do are Zechel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, and that's why Chazal tell us, says Ramban, be careful in a small mitzvah like a great mitzvah, because there's no such thing as a small mitzvah. You put up a mezuzah, the mezuzah reminds you there's a creator who controls the world. He speaks to mankind. There's reward and punishment. So here's the gift. We, t we say that after 120, one of the six main questions Hashem asks us, did you await the coming of the Gula? Does it even say in the Chumash you're supposed to await the Gula? Where does it say in the Chumash? I mean, the Gemara says, Hashem's going to ask us, but if this is one of the six things, 
It's not like it must be even more important than a mitzvah. Because Hashem's not going to ask us in one of these biggies, did you keep the mitzvahs? Did you keep talis? Did you keep tefillin? Did you, were you careful not to wear shanis? These six questions must be like the th- six main questions. But does it even say Hashem uh, expects us to await the Mashiach? You know, the smak has a list of the 613 mitzvahs, and he says, yeah, it does say in the, in the Torah, you have to await the coming of Mashiach. Anoichi Hashem Aleikecha Asher Sicha Me'eretz Mitzrayim. I am the Almighty who took you out of Egypt. And part of the Amuna that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim is that He will take us out of our future, of our current Galos, or at the time of your future Galosim. Meaning, the Smak says part and parcel of remembering Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim is remembering that God will take us out of the current Galos. Which would then come out, if you put the Ramban together with the Smak, it would come out that the same way we need constant reminders to always remind us of the great principles of the Torah, that there's a Creator who controls everything that happens in the world. He knows what we're thinking. Divine providence, reward and punishment. We need constant reminders all day long to be mitzapeli l'geula. So just like the tefillin reminds us Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim and all the great principles Ramban told us about, it also reminds us, because part and parcel in the belief Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim, is that He will take us out of our galas. That means the purpose of tefillin is to... to awaken us and to stir our hearts to be mitzapel l'geula. And the purpose of mezuzah is to remind us to be mitzapel Yeshua. And the purpose of tzitzis is to remind us to be mitzapel. How? Because it reminds us of Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim. And part of remembering Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim is to remember that God will take us out of this galos. And that means Shabbos reminds us to be mitzapel l'geula. And when you make Kiddush, it reminds you to be Mitzapel Yeshua. And Pesach, when you eat Matzah, reminds you to be Mitzapel Yeshua. And when you sit in the Sukkah, it reminds you to be Mitzapel Yeshua. And almost all the mitzvahs remind you are not just Zecher Litzis Mitzrayim. So next time you're wondering, you know, why is one of the six big questions that the Rav Shem will ask after 120, where it's Sipisa Li Yeshua, it's not even a mitzvah. Oh, it's not even a mitzvah. It's all the mitzvahs. It's all the mitzvahs. You ever realize that? Because understanding that Sipisa Yeshua is a chilek of Anoichi Hashem Lekech Sheretzeisich Meretz Mitzrayim. And most of the mitzvahs, as Ramban says, are Zechel Yitzchitz Mitzrayim. That means most of the mitzvahs are reminders to Mitzapel Yeshua. That's a very important idea. Have a wonderful day. This, will, this is, um, I'm away at the end of the week. I uh, have, have an opportunity to give shirim somewhere. So we're going to pick it up next Monday. Bezos Hashem. Um, and uh, we'll see everybody. Bezos Hashem. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day. Call Tov. By the way, the Chumash share, the weekly Chumash share is tonight, 8.30. You don't want to miss this one. It's Yishmael's Tshuva. Too late? Really great stuff. Hatzlach, everyone. Have a good day. How are you, Yaakov?